Hello, I'm Arthur. Welcome to my lab. In a recent video, I've demonstrated how you can use an electronic speed controller, like this one, to drive a spindle motor uh, removed from a CD-ROM or DVD-ROM drive. Now today, let's take a look at another motor. This one I've pulled out of old hard drive. So this is a hard disk motor that drives the, the platters inside of the hard disk. And let's see if we can drive this motor with the same ESC. So let's hook it up. And I've connected a um, current meter, amp meter, uh, to my circuit so that we can see how much current is being drawn uh, by this motor. So at rest, the whole circuit, which means my uh, ESC and my controller here, my pulse generator, uh, the whole th circuit is drawing uh, 22 milliamps. Or actually, this is only the ESC because I'm powering uh, my controller from a separate set of batteries. So disregard that, um, this part. So it's only the ESC that's drawing 22 milliamps. And now let's turn on the motor. And as you can see, it's, it's spun up instantly. It's spinning nicely. And now it's drawing 125 milliamps. And actually, I'm gonna put it in my max min, put my meter in max min mode so we can measure the maximum current that this motor draws. Now I'm going to increase the speed of my ESC. Right now I'm at 25% pulse. Let's go all the way to 99%. And now I'm at 466 milliamps. Full blast, that's the current that this motor is drawing. And that's a 12 volt power supply. And it's spinning pretty good. But it, I gotta say, it's, it's extremely smooth. Very well balanced. Now that it's sitting on, on my desk, you can hear it buzzing but if I hold it in my hand there's barely any vibration alright let's stop it now and start it again so 477 milliamps was the maximum current let's go to Maximum mode. Okay, here we go. Start up the motor. Ooh, that inertia was pretty, pretty strong. All right, so maximum current was 776 milliamps. That's when the motor started. So yeah, you can control a hard disk motor, again, using an ESC, which is pretty neat. Uh, so I can see a lot of interesting projects coming out of this and right now it, the motor is spinning really fast. Let's slow it down. So the uh, CD-ROM spindle motor uh, spun up at 13% pulse. I'm at 13% now. That's probably Let's see. Yeah, this motor is easy to stop, but of course if you use it for some lightweight application, that shouldn't be a problem. Let's see what the minimum. Oh yeah, at 12%, it like stops and goes. You should be able to see it. You should be able to see that mark on the spindle. So, the motor stops and goes. So 13% is the minimum at which the motor is spinning constantly. And of course, if you 
if you manage to remove this spindle off of the motor and leave just the shaft then you could put some uh, pulley on it and maybe use a belt drive to trade the RPM for um, for strength and get some some usable torque out of this setup so this is what you can do with a motor pulled out of hard disk again just a simple ESC and you're good to go one thing that I should probably mention is the major difference between the spindle motors that I pulled out of the CD-ROM drives and these hard disk spindle motors so the uh, spindle motors pulled out of CD-ROM drives are in delta configuration that their windings are in delta configuration which is the same as the RC hobby motors so this is the delta you have one wire coming in splitting off into two windings of the motor and these windings are connected to the third creating uh, a delta um, wiring and you have wire uh, coming out of each junction and that's what goes gets connected to the ESC now this motor here is in Y or star configuration where it has uh, four connections on the back so this is a center point right here that's the common uh, point and that's actually a wire right here right and then it, all three coils are connected to the central point and the other end of the coil is one of these wires one for each coil but because I have the ESC that's uh, built for Delta configuration I did not use this central pin I've only used these external uh, connections and I was still able to drive this motor and the way to figure out which uh, connection is what which pin is center center because that's really the, the only pin that matters that's the pin that you do not want to connect to so let's take a look at uh, the resistance between these coils so we know that if we connect uh, one of the leads from my meter to the center and the other lead to any other point we'll be going through only one coil and so we'll only have the resistance of this one coil but if we connect a test lead to one end of the coil and the other uh, test lead to any other coil then we'll be going through two coils measuring the resistance which will be double of a single coil resistance so we need to find this one pin which has the uh, the lower resistance when measured to all the other wires that's how we'll find this so if we these these wires weren't soldered here and I connected my uh, meter here to this point this first one and the second one which is black wire will measure 1.7 ohms right so that's because we're going through two coils if I connect it to the other uh, coil again once it stabilizes once I get the right reading should be why am I losing connection here something's not right maybe the clip not making good connection there we go 1.6 ohms right same between these two 1.7 ohms but if we measure resistance between this unconnected pin right here which I wasn't using if we measure resistance between this and any other of these wires we're getting 0.9 ohms which is about half of the 1.7 measured across two, two coils so that's how you can measure and figure out which pin is the common and that's the pin that you do not want to use if you plan on hooking up this uh, star configured motor to your hobby RC hobby ESC you don't want to use this center point 
this one right here, you want to use the other three points. And it doesn't matter uh, in what order you connect them. I guess this wire was a little too thin. I'll have to resider it. Uh, yeah, those are just cheapo Chinese jumper wires. They use really thin uh, conductor inside. So, but hey, they're cheap. You can just strip a piece of wire and, and resider it. So no big deal. So back to the story. Um, if you want to use ESC to drive this, this kind of motor, you just need to find these points of your coils, connect your uh, ESC and you're good to go. And if the motor is spinning in the wrong direction compared to what you want, then you just flip any two wires. Could be these two, could be these two, could be these two, doesn't matter. Any two wires, you just switch their connection and the motor will start spinning the other uh, direction. So that's it for today. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to be notified about future videos, uh, subscribe to my channel. You'll get a message telling you when I publish new videos. Talk to you later.